Hello and welcome to Sports Hour. I'm Sakshi Mandwal. And joining me here in the studios tonight with me is our sports expert, Colonel Amarbir Singh. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. Well, before we proceed, let's have a quick look on the top stories of the day. Sachin Tendulkar at Nets ahead of India New Zealand series. Manipur government enhances cash reward for Olympic medalist Maricom. Serena Williams enters Cincinnati Masters pre quarter final. And Sweden soccer squad face Brazil in international friendly. And now, first of all, some news from the world of cricket. India star batsman Sachin Tendulkar got into practice mood on Wednesday at Bangalore for the upcoming test series against New Zealand. The first test begins in Hyderabad on August 23rd, while the second and final match is slated to be played at Bangalore from August 31st. After the test series, both the nations will also play two 2020 matches. The first match will be played on September 8th in Vishakhapatnam, while the second will be played in Chennai on September 11th. Well, so obviously India playing in, at their home ground, Bangalore and then Vishakhapatnam, that's a major benefit for the Indians this time to be played against New Zealand? Uh, of course, uh, uh, in the backdrop that they have come back from uh, Sri Lanka, of course, not a very successful tour. Mm -hmm. Of course, Australia, England earlier. Uh, I think a uh, uh, little uh, morale booster win in mm -hmm. Sri Lanka, uh, uh, beating Sri Lanka in Sri Lanka is definitely always a morale booster right. for a team, yes. any team in the world. Yes. And uh, of course, Sachin coming back after uh, rest of about two months, mm -hmm. and uh, he is, uh, I'm sure, raring to go for this uh, the test series, yes. which is again, like you said, advantage India because the home series. Right. Yes. And uh, of course, uh, in the backdrop that after this is going to be a very, very, uh, uh, very uh, busy schedule mm -hmm. for the for the cricketers because mm -hmm. after that is uh, first of all we have this test series right. uh, uh, ending with two 2020 matches against the New Zealand yes. team. And then, of course, the World Cup, the right. T20 World Cup at Sri Lanka, right. which starts on September 18 to right. October 7. So that is, again, a uh, very hectic time and followed by the England series, which England is visiting India. Right. So I think uh, uh, time to pull up their uh, socks, uh, literally, and physical fitness. And, uh, of course, a lot of eyes on Sachin Lakshman. I mean, right. he is part of the team right. and uh, he has not done too well in the last... Right. Uh, about eight tests mm -hmm. which he played against Australia, England mm -hmm. and uh, I, I'm sure he will like to do well. Home ground advantage, Hyderabad, mm -hmm. Bangalore, mm -hmm. pitches are good. Mm -hmm. They know the uh, things inside out. I'm sure mm -hmm. this is advantage Lakshman. Yes, but obviously looking for one thing more facts, sir. As you said, we have the T20 World Cup just round the corner. Obviously the test matches are going to be good exposure and a good practice we also feel upon for the Indian squad. But the two T20 matches could be crucial for the preparations just prior to the T20 World Cup? Absolutely. I mean, that is what it is all about. Uh, all the world t teams all world over are uh, trying to get the maximum practice, uh, you know, uh, to get into the match practice, into the T20 mood. And, uh, of course, Indians don't lack it anyway because right. they have had such a long IPL season and yes. uh, so I'm sure uh, they have it in them. But uh, all the same, mm. to get back into the mode, uh, these two back-to-back uh, -back T20 matches mm. will be great help to India. And uh, focusing more on the test series or the test matches, the two test matches that we have, what kind of squad or team combination do you think that the Indians should be looking forward to given the pitch conditions that would be prevailing over there in Bangalore? See, first of all, uh, uh, we definitely going to miss our old war, uh, war horse, as uh, we call uh, Dravid, mm -hmm. who is no more in the test yes. team. And uh, Pujara, I think, will, you know, is likely to take his place. Mm -hmm. And uh, one looks upon him mm -hmm. to be a youngster who, who has to pick the big shoes. And uh, I'm sure uh, uh, a lot of us want to, uh, uh, do, uh, want to see Pujara doing well right. there in the mm -hmm. test matches. Yes. Because he has to make a place for himself. Right. He has to be there. Mm -hmm. And of course, like I said, Lakshman, Sachin, everybody, these are the names which are, uh, you know, people are going to look at. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, of course, uh, the, the pace bowlers is the same mm -hmm. lineup. Ishant is coming right. after injury. So yes. he, he is, uh, of course, Irfan there. So uh, he has done well in the uh, Sri Lankan uh, uh, series. Mm -hmm. So one, uh, it's a balanced side. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the test side, of course, uh, advantage, uh, like I said, India, because mm -hmm. of the home ground advantage. Mm -hmm. But surely uh, a, a time for few of them to prove mm -hmm. a point like Lakshman, right. who, who's coming back Since after yes. a very, uh, not a good form right. earlier. But do you think it's going to be the batsman's calls out there or will it be more for the bowler's call to take on the Bangalore pitches out there? See, Bangalore pitch is famous. Uh, it's a batsman uh, to score the runs and of course uh, then the, ba uh, the bowlers will come in where they pitch in with their... Uh, but the kind of uh, first inning score, uh, whosoever goes into bat first and then score those big runs and then help the, uh, the bowlers to 
uh, help the yes, to get those 20, right. 20 wickets. So that's going to be very, very important. Yes. So, uh, so as always, the focus will be on the batsmen. Right. If they score the runs, the, ball right. becomes, the, the job becomes easier for the ball. Yes, definitely. Well, on that note, now moving on, the Manipur government has decided to increase the cash reward and other benefits for Olympic bronze medalist winner, MC Maricom. The State Chief Minister Okram Ibubi Singh said on Wednesday that his government has increased the cash reward for Maricom from Rs 50 lakh to Rs 75 lakh. She will also be promoted from the Deputy Superintendent of Police to Superintendent. Three other sportspersons from Manipur who took part in the London Olympics, including boxer Devendra Singh and archer Bombayla Devi and weightlifter Sonia Chan, would also be given Rs 20 lakh each. The players would also get jobs in the government departments according to their qualifications. The state government would also be giving two acres of land at Niti Langor village on the outskirts of Impal to Maricom. Well, so obviously this is really good exposure coming out for the players, for the boxers. And one thing which has really come beneficial and great, should we say, is the government somewhere rewarding these players for the, ben for the uh, returns that they've given to the country. And Maricom being given 75 lakhs speaks much in itself. I think uh, every penny is deserves uh, right. uh, Mary Com what she's yes. getting, and all these uh, I'll say medal winners, right. six of them, hmm. uh, the way they have uh, uh, you know done for the country, right. it's a huge a huge achievement. I'll yes. say uh, you know uh, we went to uh, Beijing with we came back from Beijing with three medals, and hmm. now uh, today we have six. Just double course, the medal tally. Double the medal right. tally. Of course, uh, uh, we always miss that gold uh, hmm. somewhere there. But surely, uh, it's a definitely a step in the right direction. Right. And uh, the kind of support these players are getting, the kind of reception these are getting, right. I mean, and, and the kind of uh, uh, sponsorship these players mm. will get in, yes. in the future, right. I, I think it's a very good sign for the Indian sportsmen. Uh, of course, cricketers always have right. uh, stolen the limelight mm. in India. But I'm sure this is an opportunity where these six Olympians have right. done India proud. Yes. And every prize that comes, I think uh, they it's deserve much, much more. It's, yes. it's much deserved and they deserve much more right. than what they are getting. You talk of Sushil Kumar, you talk of, of course, Saina Nehwal has always right. done us proud, mm. be it Super Series in the mm. badminton right. uh, circuit all over She's the world. She's been a consistent one. Very yes. consistent one. And of course, uh, the shooters, uh, Vijay doing that job there, right. getting that silver medal. And right. uh, 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 all the, I mean, I'll say the six uh, medal winners mm. have done a country proud and they deserve each prize. Yes, and this reminds me that Vijay Kumar had come out uh, in the media and said, obviously, that the win somewhere had helped him get name amongst the people because had he not won a medal, nobody would have remembered them much so obviously but with the win he is going to be remembered and that definitely speaks much in itself for these players out there who bought laurels to the country and this in itself has to just go on increasing for them from here see it always happens uh, if you uh, see it's in all sports it, it's always a few sportsmen who will get the limelight and they get into the media for example Gagan Naran I mean yes. he was if most of the people don't know that this is the third Olympics for him right he, he went to Athens and then of course to uh, be, uh, Beijing where he mm -hmm. missed it by a whisker and then uh, this time he got it bronze uh, uh, but uh, the kind of bet in between there are Commonwealth Games there are right. Asian Games and Vijay Kumar is one example where he has performed so well on the Commonwealth right. Games stage also in the Asian Games stage in the World Championship mm -hmm. stage but he has never been getting his due. Right. So he, he always had a grouse and yes. I think uh, he yes. uh, got out there and did it with vengeance and right. I think uh, that is a recognition. I think media uh, has to play a role. It is not about Asian Games, it is not about Olympics, right. it is not about World Championships. Right. The, the, these sportsmen need all the kind of you know media focus yes. on them. Yes, the exactly. Time. The next question that I was just coming to is the fact that obviously our boxers and weightlifters, apart from the shooters from whom much was expected, have done us proud. But do you just see this as the first step to a greater beginning, or is it the be it and end all from here on? Because it could just be one game and one tournament, and after that, nothing happens because cricket has dominated the country. But do you see, see this as the beginning for a greater, much more higher accomplishments for them now? I, I agree with you. I think this is a start point for a big bigger change hmm. because of the fact that if you see how are, oh, across the various sports, uh, how uh, disciplines, how the right. uh, athletes have performed, if you just talk about athletics, mm -hmm. I mean we are nev never too good in athletics right. and of course minus PT Usha who missed a bronze with a whisker. Mm -hmm. But uh, this time there are two sportsmen who are in top seven, right. uh, I mean uh, uh, Vikas Gowda and Punya. So mm -hmm. both of them and so they, they are in that bracket where they are in the top seven. So this, it talks of very highly of our development yes. in athletics. Now come to archery. I mean, this is just poor form or on that day, mm -hmm. which cost us medal. Deepika is there, world class. Right. She is, yes. I mean, she they need not get disheartened with the loss at Olympics. She has to go, she is young, she is mm -hmm. 18. She has to start from here yes. and look at the next Olympics. And I'm sure she has it in her to get a goal for us yes. in the next Olympics. Right. So this is the only way up, I think, uh, in the very right direction. 
if all the things uh, uh, you, place we just us. have to right. you know carry on from here uh, helping these sports person who, who are doing there, who are the top 10 in the world, mm -hmm. I'm sure they need all the support of the government, right. all the agencies, mm -hmm. so that they can do better in the next Olympics. Yes, definitely. Well, on that note, we shall be right now heading in for a short break, but you stay tuned in because lined up ahead is a lot more sporting action in line for you. You're watching TV Sports. Welcome back after the break and now moving on, Williams sisters scored a contrasting wins to enter the next round of the women's singles event of Cincinnati Masters Tennis Tournament. Serena made short work of Eleni Daniel Dulu of Greece 6364 to book passage into the pre-quarter finals of the tournament. But Venus got stiff challenge from Russia's Maria Krylenko, whom she defeated 2-1 to move up. Venus won the first set 6-3, but Maria came back with 7-6 win. In the decider, Venus bounced back 6-2 and wrapped up the contest. And Andy Roddick of America suffered a defeat while Thomas Burditch sailed into the next round of the Cincinnati Open. Roddick lost to Frenchman Jeremy Chardy 6-7-3-6 in the first round that also jeopardized his preparations for the U.S. Open. But Burditch didn't sweat much to outplay unseeded Louis and Sen of Taiwan 6-4-6-3 to advance into the next round. Marty Pish also beat Spaniard Feliciano Lopez 6-2-6-2 to move up. Andy Roddick's U.S. Open preparations took a turn for the worst on Tuesday when he suffered a back injury in a 7-6-6-3 first round defeat by France Jeremy Chardy at the Cincinnati Open. Chardy, who took his place in the first round as a luck loser, triumphed 7-4 in a first tie break, but Roddick struggled in the second set, during which he had treatment for back spams. Japan's Key Nishikori cruised to a 6-1, 6-2 win over Spaniard Marcel Granoles in a match that lasted just 65 minutes. In night action, fifth-seeded Czech Thomas Burditch dispensed with unseeded Lu Yen Sen of Taiwan 6-4, 6-3 in a second-round match. -up. Well, sir, focusing first on the women's, obviously, Serena Williams had an easy start for herself, but Venus Williams definitely had a tough time getting that win. Do you think she should see this as somewhere an alert call for herself to pull up a socks? Actually, what can we say about these two, you know, greats, I say, Serena and Williams, both of them. Uh, Serena, of course, fresh from her uh, Wimbledon and gold Olympics, mm -hmm. uh, uh, gold from the Olympics, uh, London Olympics. Uh, both being played on the grass surface mm -hmm. and now it's coming on to the hard court season. Mm -hmm. So uh, Venus, of course, uh, we all know has been going through uh, huge, uh, you know, physical right. problems and uh, diseases and mm -hmm. problems are there. And she has come back and she, uh, uh, of course, played the doubles and won the mm -hmm. gold for right. her country along with Serena. Right. Uh, it's a long way for her because she's starting all over again hmm. and uh, now uh, the, this is the first round and she there are hiccups. So it appears that uh, Venus is not in the full form which she's right. supposed to be. Yes. She has been a champion. She has won a few grand slams uh, uh, earlier. Yeah. But sure, uh, now the challenge is much bigger. The younger players and I'm sure Venus is in trouble. Uh, but they, they, it's, you can never write them off, these right. two sisters. So it's these, still they, very early in the stage, in the tournament right now to actually put them in a zone. But focusing on the men's side, the biggest shocker has come right now. Andy Roddick being ousted from the tournament because he's lost, which has obviously come as a big shock. Yes, uh, uh, definitely. Looking at the US Open, now uh, a week to go and you know this is a, a, a kind of a warm-up event for the Cincinnati Open. Is, uh, mm -hmm. uh, for the hard courts, players are coming back. It's such a long grass court season this time because right. of Olympics also being played on grass. Yes. So it's a hard court season now and uh, uh, players coming back to it, getting used to the idea. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's an early setback for uh, Roddick. Of right. course, there was a time when there were uh, four to five players of mm -hmm. US in the top 10. Mm -hmm. Today we have only, uh, maybe only Roddick. So right. even he getting lost out in the first round in Cincinnati mm -hmm. is a big, uh, definitely a big setback for uh, Roddick and uh, his preparations for the US Open. And yes. I'm sure uh, he'll take it from here and to uh, right. prepare himself better. There's a home ground for him, yes. the U.S. Open. But uh, talking of the other players, I think uh, uh, they have to start their uh, uh, campaign today. Mm -hmm. And like I said, everybody trying to get as many 
uh, matches before mm. the US Into Open. The pockets, yes. uh, as many matches in the US before the US mm. Open so that they can get used to that uh, hard court environment right. once again. Yes, definitely on that note, now moving on, Brazil faced Sweden in an international friendly match in Stockholm on Wednesday. Sweden might have to play without its star players, Latin Ibrahimovic, who is recovering from leg injury. He had missed two practice sessions but is expected to be fit for the match. The Brazilian side, under the guidance of coach Mano Menezes, plans to put their best foot forward. The current Brazilian side was criticized for losing gold medal match against Mexico in the Olympics. Despite its illustrious history, Brazil has yet to win an Olympic title. Well, sir, obviously Brazil and Sweden coming face to face in a friendly tie-up together. But given the fact that Brazil had lost to the, in the Olympics to Mexico, do you think somewhere that could be a mental block for them to overcome because the pressure obviously would be there on them right now? See, first of all, uh, let's understand. There are two uh, Olympics is uh, basically is, uh, the younger players. The two, two or three players of the national team mm. will be in the Olympics team. Right. So uh, that's not a huge, yes. uh, uh, you know, there's a difference Blockage between the two teams. Yeah, else. that's yeah. one thing. But surely, uh, talking of Olympics, uh, gold uh, Brazil would have definitely, right. you know, uh, when the next Olympics is in Brazil, they wanted to get a gold here. In football, that's their favorite yes. sport. So right. I'm sure Mexico really, it was, a, it was an upset for, and, uh, uh, for uh, Mexico Brazil. winning that uh, gold yes. medal in uh, soccer, right. football in Olympics. But surely, this is a friendly match, so there are a lot of events which are going to be there from yes. now on. Uh, before the World Cup and of course uh, definitely these are preparation uh, for, the, for various yes. events right. uh, before they uh, for each team to you know sort out their uh, before they get into their club sports when right. the English Premier yes. League is about to start the Italian League is going to start so before that these are few friendly matches to be played so that the national teams can sort out their strategies right. before they go in for the World Cup. Yes and on that note Louis van Gaal who took over as the national coach of the Netherlands soccer team from Bert van Marwich is aiming at some semi-final sports in the 2014 World Cup for his team. The Dutch start their World Cup qualifying campaign against Turkey at home on September 7th. And Van Gaal wants to see an improvement from national team who, who had shown a disappointing performance at Euro 2012. The Dutch are in Group B and are clubbed in Hungary, Romania, Estonia and Andorra. Well, some more news from the world of soccer. Germany will try to put their Euro 2012 disappointment behind them when it faces Argentina in an international friendly in Frankfurt on Wednesday. Despite friendly match, both teams are taking the match seriously. The two world football playing nations met in 2010 World Cup with Germany defeating Argentina 4-0 to move into the semis. The performance of the players shall help German coach Joachim Leo to gauge the performance of his team to prepare for 2014 World Cup. And despite not winning as many medals as expected in the London Games, Australian contingent got a rousing welcome on its arrival on the home soil. Country's Prime Minister Julia Gillard was amongst the fans and family members that gave warm welcome to the players at the Sydney airport on Wednesday. In London Games, Australia collected 7 gold, 16 silver and 12 bronze medals to finish 10th overall, which was the lowest medal haul in 20 years. Julia Gillard was amongst a crowd of fans and family members at Sydney Airport on Wednesday morning to give Australia's Olympic team a grand reception on their return from London. For me, it was nothing different than what's happened before. I was fine with it, but it's bad to see that people don't see we swam as well as we did. Wearing the gold medal she won by beating arch-rival Victoria Pendleton. Sprint cyclist Anna Muir said she was enjoying every minute of her success. It sunk in straight away for me. I always believed that I was capable. I worked very, very hard. I had a big team of people around me who also sacrificed and worked very, very hard. James Magnuson was sporting the silver he won in the 100-meter freestyle final and said he now wants gold more than ever. Yeah, I'm very hungry for gold, you know. It's another four years, but I've done it once, so I hope to do it again, he said. Australia finished in 10th place overall with the lowest medal haul in 20 years, 7 gold, 16 silver and 12 bronze. Well, before I leave, I would like to thank a sports expert, Colonel Amar Beer Singh for joining us here. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. And at last, let's have a quick look on the top headlines once again. Sachin Tendulkar at next ahead of India-New Zealand series. Manipur government enhances cash reward for Olympic medalist Mary Corp. Serena Williams enters Cincinnati Masters pre quarter final. 
and Sweden soccer squad face Brazil in international friendly. Well, you can also post in your views and comments on our email id sportsr4 at gmail.com. That is all that we had in this edition of Sports Are For You. Thank you so much for watching. But do stay tuned in because coming up ahead is the Hindi Bulletin with Muhammad Rashid. You're watching TV Sports.